The most profitable skill ever, or as many people know it, trading. This allows ordinary people to generate anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500 a week as a beginner trader using my set and forget strategy. And in the next few minutes, I'm gonna explain to you how to master the same tools that I use every single day when I trade. It makes absolutely no difference whether you have experience or trading or you don't. Or you're a beginner experience, doesn't matter. And the first thing is, the charts. These charts are the place where we can see the real life price of absolutely any asset in real time. This means that we're able to see if a stock, currency pair, commodity, what the price is at the current price in real time. We can identify if it gets cheaper or more expensive. Knowing this is very important, but do you really want to know how money is generated in these markets? So the best way to understand this is where are these profits coming from? Because it can't be coming from thin air. So where's the money actually being made from? And as crazy as it might sound, it actually comes from somebody else's pocket. Let me explain. This means that what one person loses in the market, somebody else is making that same exact figure. So the money's not made from thin air. What somebody loses in the market, somebody else gains. If I won $20,000 today trading, that means that a person, a business, somebody else in the financial market has lost $20,000. So now that you know where the money comes from, let me explain to you guys the exact actions you should take in the markets in order to make money. And this is very simple. I've divided it in two parts. And the first one is to understand if the market is headed to the upside or if it is headed to the downside. So you understand the trend of the market so you know if you want to buy or if you want to sell. And the second one is right after you know whether you want to buy with the markets or if you want to sell based off of the trend of the markets, the second step is to actually take the trade. So for the first action, what you will need is a tool to mark up price, just as we saw at the beginning of this video. The one that I personally use, and I think 99% of the industry is TradingView. On this page, you'll be able to see the price of any commodity, any currency, any crypto in real time. It is very easy and very user-friendly. So now that you're on TradingView, you need to get the currency pair that you want to trade. For example, let's say the Euro dollar, or as many people know it, Euro USD. So now once you've added this to your watch list, whether you've given it a color blue, red, purple, green, whatever color you want, now you can see the real time price of the Euro versus the dollar. You can see the progress in different time frames. So there's time frames such as the daily time frame, four hour, two hour, one hour, 30 minute, meaning that each of these candlesticks is the time frame that you have been selected on. So for example, here we are on the daily candlestick. So it means every single one of these candlesticks is a day. 24 hours for each one of these candlesticks. If we go down to the four hour, every single one of these candlesticks is four hours. You can see it to the bottom right of the screen, how the price of the market tells you how much time is left within that candlestick to close. And the next step is to actually do the analysis or also known as top down analysis where you mark up your charts. This is where you see a bunch of lines and a bunch of boxes. And this is to identify key points to where you're going to enter the market. So you can anticipate where the market is going to go to the upside or go to the downside. And this is exactly what I'm going to be explaining in my next video. So how do you break down the charts professionally as I do it? How to properly understand top-down analysis, time frame correlation, currency pair comparing, all of this, where I am able to predict what the market is going to do pretty much all the time. So let me do a quick recap. Once you go to TradingView, you want to add a currency pair, you just type it up, then you can add it and make sure to use the OANDA server because this is the server that doesn't have any gaps. If you use FXCM, if you use Forex.com, you're going to have gaps in the way you see the charts. OANDA.com is the only server that there is no gaps in the markets. And this is going to help you a lot as a beginner trader so you don't get confused on what these gaps are. After you add the currency pair of your wish, then you can add it to your watch list based off of the color that you want to add it. So then there, you can confirm what market you want to trade based off of the color. And this is a very brief summary of how you will use TradingView to analyze the markets that you are interested in trading in. This is what I do every single day when I come to the markets. Now that you understand the currency pair that you want to trade, you understand where it is in real time price, you understand whether you want to buy or sell, now it's time to actually take execution on the trade. So you can trade real time and make real money on the prediction that you're about to make on this currency pair. And this is exactly what MetaTrader is. MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5. They're pretty much exactly the same thing. I personally use both MetaTrader 4, think about it as an iPhone 8, and then MetaTrader 5, think of it of the new iPhone 11. They both have the same function, but obviously the iPhone 11 is just much newer and has cooler features, but they both do the same exact thing. In order to access one of these accounts on this platform, you need to have the credentials to do so. 
So you're gonna actually be able to use it and execute the trades that you're about to predict. And these credentials are gonna be given to you by the broker of your choice. And I'm gonna give you two different options of what you can do in your broker. The first option is you can go on and deposit money. Once you deposit money into your broker of your choice, please do your due diligence before selecting your broker. And then after you deposit the money, you can then go on to the broker. They will provide you credentials to MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5, whichever one of your liking. And then you are trading real time assets where you can capitalize off of these markets. Or you can go to the broker of your choice and instead of depositing real money, you can paper trade also known as demo trading. Simply so you can get used to trading the currency pair that you're going to use or also as well to test the type of market conditions the broker is providing you with. And since it's demo or paper trading, it's absolutely free, zero cost for you. So once you have chosen one of these two options, the broker will then give you the credentials so you can log into MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5 so you can take execution of the prediction you're going to do on the currency pair. Once you enter the credentials, you should see the initial balance of your account, whether you opened a real account or a demo account. The first thing you see is the balance of your account. So once you're here in the app, the first thing that you have to do is you have to add the commodities or the currency pairs that you're actually trading, that you're predicting on TradingView. Now you need to add it on MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. It's very easy. All you have to do is go to the top right corner and then select the pairs that you want to add. Your broker is gonna have a list of different types of groups that your currency pairs, commodities, cryptos are in. So after you've added the pairs that you've been analyzing now to your watch list on MetaTrader as well, this is where you simply click on the currency pair where you can take execution on real-time market immediately. Before taking the trade, there's three different types of orders that you can do. The first one is going to be a market execution, meaning that the moment you click buy or the moment you click sell, you're going to enter the trade at that very second. The second is a buy stop or a sell stop, meaning the moment price breaks through a point and it gets to there, it will automatically get you into the market. You have to do absolutely nothing. You just place the area where you want to enter the trade, where you want your buy stop to be active or your sell stop. Once price gets there, it will then do that. And then the third option is buy limit or sell limit, which is very similar to a buy stop or sell stop. Once price gets to that certain point that you predicted it to, it will enter you into the trade immediately. And this is what a lot of traders use in order for them to not take a trade immediately in the market executions because they are predicting for price to get to a certain point without them actually looking at the markets. So after you decided what type of market execution you want to do, then next is the lot size. Lot size is also known as how much are you going to risk per trade. And this is very key to trading because you want to have proper risk management. And don't think you could just go in and put whatever lot size you want. The leverage that you have on your account is going to limit you on the lot size that you can use. And this is done for your own benefit so you don't over risk or over leverage your account, which will cause for you to end up losing your money. After you've selected your lot size, then you have to put your take profit area. Where is it that you want to get out on the trade that you believe that is the right zone? Whether you are selling price, you wanna get out at a certain zone. Whether you are buying price, you wanna get out at a certain zone. And then last but not least, which is by far the most important, it is your stop loss. This is where you want to get out of the operation if price gets to that area because it means that you are completely wrong on your trade. I highly recommend every single trader out there to use a stop loss, and I can't stress this enough. So once you've added your currency pair, you've added your lot size, the type of market execution that you want, your take profit, your stop loss, you are ready to place your trade. And this is simply where you will select this buy button or this sell button, which will enter you into the market immediately. And as soon as you click it like that, you're in the market. And you'll be able to check the progress of your trade whether you are in a profit or in a loss in this middle section right here. Here you can see if your trade, if it is about to hit your take profit or if it is about to hit your stop loss. And that has been all for this video for now. If you wanna know more about my set and forget strategy that literally generates me numbers like these or like these every single week in the financial markets. And it allows absolutely anybody to generate anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500 a week as a beginner trader using my set and forget strategy with only three months, literally starting from zero, not knowing what trading is. Just click the link in the description below. I have a video for you there that will explain in great detail what I am about and the number one trading community is about. So thank you guys for watching the video all the way to the end. I hope you guys like this video and stay tuned to the next one. See you guys.